CNN host Dana Bash, she called out uh, Senator Rob Portman, the, uh, Republican of Ohio, for his inconsistency, for his hypocrisy with uh, Donald Trump and the insurrection. I want you to check this out, and then let's take it on the other side. You voted this week to dismiss the trial as unconstitutional since Donald Trump is no longer in office. I know you've said you're going to keep an open mind as a juror, but setting aside questions of timing or constitutionality, do you consider Trump's actions leading up to and on January 6th to be impeachable conduct? Yes or no? The vote was, the vote was not about dismissing the trial. It was about not discussing the constitutionality okay. is, a, is a critical issue. I have said with regard to the president's comments that day, that they were partly responsible for what happened, for the horrible violence that occurred on Capitol Hill. I've also said, you know, that, that, that what he did was, was, was wrong and, and inexcusable. I've used the word inexcusable because I think that's, that's how I feel. So, I mean, we'll see. I'm a, I'm a juror. I'm going to keep an open mind as we go through this. Uh, but I do think that this constitutionality issue has to be addressed. I mean, we would be convicting a private citizen, as you know, someone who's out of office. That sets a, a, a precedent. And I think all former presidents, yeah. <laughs> those alive and those and those not, uh, uh, could could be affected in a negative way. But and if you don't vote yes, that, aren't you danger. excusing that... it? You say it's inexcusable. If you don't vote yes, one could argue that you are doing just that. You are excusing the behavior. Well, it can be inexcusable and yet not be uh, subject to a conviction after a president has left office. If you look at the Constitution, and there aren't that many words about impeachment, so it's easy to do, and I encourage your viewers to do so. It's always connected with removal from office. She dinged him. If you don't vote yes, aren't you saying, even though you claim it's inexcusable, if you don't say, if you don't vote for impeachable, impeachment, you're pretty much saying you're excusing it. That was a, a, a very, she, she, she made him hang himself. But here's the more important uh, part about it. There is precedence. There are three times in American history, as I recall, I don't quite remember what they were, where the impeachable person left office and was still impeached, or uh, was still convicted. So uh, let's, or our trial was still held. I don't remember if they were convicted or not, but a trial was still held. So there's precedence that this has occurred already. Republicans simply don't have the spine because they are scared of Donald Trump's base. But as was shown yesterday, and I don't remember what program, if you take a look at Donald Trump's base, there's no, there should be really no fear because the base itself doesn't have winning power. It is amazing, but it's true. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.